So, uh, hello guys, uh, today I want to show you my thoughts and show you my thoughts on these, devi this new d these new devices, which is um, devices from Microsoft, Surface Pro and several of uh, new products. And my thoughts about those devices will be about Mac OS and specific uh, devices which you well, well, you, well, you need to th uh, think and thought what you're gonna buy or, or you're not gonna buy if you're gonna use it in a, with the Mac OS. So um, this is a Surface Pro 8, but I'm I wanna start from not this device, but uh, just uh, just a bit different version, which is probably mm, some of people want to buy or mm, will not buy. But this is a specific Surface Studio laptop. Um, and I, I come back later to the Surface Pro 8 and um, I'm gonna mm, well tell my thoughts on this device and uh, specific for Mac OS users in future if if there is some wanna buy this device and use it as a main machine and like Windows machine and the Mac, Mac OS as, as well because it's just have some cool design uh, powerful specs on this this thing so it's a great performance device especially for heavy duty tasks like graphic graphics intensive tasks so and in i just want to tell why i'm gonna start with this device and then return back to the uh, pro 8 um which is uh, which is one thing which is one thing maybe it's a uh, um which is a thing i want to mention on this uh device on this device on this channel and the thing is it's a uh, geforce rtx uh, 3050 uh, ti graphics card so this is a graphics card with uh actually it's really great graphics card by the way and it will work it's a this smaller version for these devices like uh, laptop devices but thing is it's a uh, graphics card which is uh, not working on the mac os system which is uh, which is uh, nvidia drivers um and it's hard to find right here Mo mostly you're not able to find uh, on uh, these um, cards uh, some drivers for mac os especially for if you're going to run the newest version uh, monterey or big Sur or even Catalina, I think the uh, th those versions w will not uh, will not support your graphics card because this is a uh, Nvidia RTX an awesome graphics card, powerful, really like graphic or will work on any graphics intensive card. But you need to have a extra uh, extra graphics card which is support by. By uh, by Windows and macOS as well, especially for macOS because you have already have an internal uh, graphics card. Um, so what you need to do, uh, there is few solutions on this. You have Thunderbolt 4, and you need the external box, eGPU box, to use a specific card for macOS. If you need uh, this power for uh, Final Cut, for example, for some intensive G GPU tasks, for Unreal, for example, if you Unreal Unity, if you want to use it in uh, Mac OS for some specific rendering heavy RTX projects. So you definitely need to have uh, extra sp extra eGPU box for a Thunderbolt 4. This is only one thing, uh, I guess, because uh, if you uh, if you're gonna use it only as a Windows machine, you don't need to anything like go ahead and use it and buy this kind of a thing if you love the design and uh, specs and uh, and basically everything like on this kind of machine so this is my thoughts it's, a, it's still in the gen it's a new 11th gen uh, which is uh, seems to work well with the mac os it's still intel so you able technically technically you able to run monterey on this device because it's in intel and well you have few choices like i5 i7 I so um so it's a good thing 
and as well as a thunderbolt which is uh, finally finally allows us to use external gpu it's a great thing i i'm not i'm not sure i'm not test this i don't have a device yet but uh, i guess uh, it will work well it's uh, uh two 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 it's a wi fi six compatible and bluetooth five point five uh five point one technology and cheap so um I guess you will able to use internal Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so it's a, it's a great thing as well. So you need to have any dongles, uh, specific dongles, and well, it's definitely great device. I mean, technically great, uh, tech specific. Uh, it's a horsepower for any, mm, yeah, task for for any performance tasks like for rendering, animation, uh, visual effects. So this is a development, this is a great thing, especially for game development. As you see, this is a coolant, great coolant, which is not the same coolant system like uh, uh, Pro 8. Yeah, it's, uh, you see, this is a graphics card and from NVIDIA. And yeah, this is my thoughts on if you want to buy the this Surface product, uh, but uh, we have uh, one more, which is Surface Pro 8, and I have to say, I just love this product. I love design. I love the uh, form factor of this kind of a thing. Because I have like version, uh, older version. I still love uh, the portability and power. And this device becomes even more accessible to heavy, <coughs> heavy duty um, machine learning projects. Um, graphical intensive stuff rendering uh, footage some video editing so this is kind of an amazing thing um and we will talk about a little bit ab uh, about this processor which is again which is i7 uh, intel and technically it will run mac os so you i'm not completely sure i need to have a test but most likely this model will work on um, on the Mac OS and this is the Intel it's a great thing uh, it's easier than AMD or something so it's because some people wanna wanted to have this device on the AMD but Intel will uh, most likely work uh, 100% M maybe not 100% but it will work uh, so yeah um, as well as the same uh, DDR4 RAM and which is again a great thing and you have a choice like 32 gigs it's just incredible i think it's uh, this is what i need for uh, quite a long time uh as well as the thunderbolt which is as i said previously if you're gonna buy this machine specific for mac os and windows and maybe linux or any sorts of linux uh, compatible or something you n you need this specific thunderbolt uh, eGPU graphics cards, which is Radeon or something, so you definitely will find drivers on the Mac OS. Not like NVIDIA, NVIDIA because NVIDIA uh, not supports, uh, not, not uh, the releases uh, the, mm, the drivers since uh, 2013, I guess. I have, uh, I had before my MacBook and they stop updating drivers and uh, most likely you will not benefit uh, any of those kind of uh, graphics in mac os so definitely need to buy something like pro 8 and use a uh, external gpu and find a uh, gpu will work on the windows and mac os so this is an amazing thing they still have a uh, head jack which is awesome as well uh, uh, surface port to extend your mm, dual or triple monitor setup which is uh, I'm using I'm using the surface connector uh, I think this will support older version even first generation second generation it's uh, same thing it's just basically USB hub so um, compatible dual screen yeah it's a, it's a great thing um, I'm, not I'm not sure about these models because there is no specific uh, developer of this model uh, but uh, most likely the same thing like on version 7 uh, surface pro 7 and seems like you don't need any 
dongles uh, to use your device uh, as a Wi-Fi compa compatible and uh, Bluetooth compatible. So this is a great thing as well. If you, especially if you have like older, um, older surfaces, ver older version of those surface device. So this is a great device. Battery life uh, amazing on MacBook. W it will be even more uh, on the new battery. So it's a great thing, definitely. I'm not sure about uh, uh, Surface Slim Pen. It will not work def definitely. Um, well, what else is there? Um, yeah, uh, so this is uh, one major thing. It's uh, Intel Core i7. It will work on Mac OS. I'm not sure about this refresh rate on macOS. I have um gonna show you. I have a screen which is um uh which is internal screen and it seems uh, not able to allow me to change any screen resolution. So it's a, I think it will not work as a hundred uh hundred and twenty hertz but not sure completely about this one because uh here is the refresh rate which is uh, on my surface pro uh, 6 uh, 60 hertz and i see there's some some sort of um, difference on my um dual monitor setup here it's just a little bit different but uh, i have rotation here um well no yeah on uh, on different devices but well, I'm not sure about her refresh rate, but it's, but it's still great if you only use Windows or s partly on uh, some sort of a development, it's called Xcode development, maybe some ML or something or games uh, under the macOS for specific projects. So it's definitely have a great thing if you, you're gonna play games on on this refresh rate. I mean, on not games, g games will not support probably but uh, in the uh, UI you definitely see the difference and this is a great thing as well as the resolution it's uh, it's still awesome re awesome resolution it's um, uh, it's a great uh, spec ratio so this is all amazing device especially if you don't need like extra GPU you will still like use iris graphics which is twice more powerful than latest generation so this is a great device uh, two connectors it's amazing still uses surface connector which is i love personally i'm not sure about anyone who, who like here I, I, I love this surface connector i'm i just plug uh, plug and yeah I'm, my my every every sing is single tile every single day uh, i have a keyboard mouse and external monitor so i just plug and yeah it's working yeah i'm not i don't need anything i just unplug and yeah ready to go with the lightweight device and do you not remove the he headphone jack which is a great thing as well and i love the design i love the design and portability so the next thing you maybe upgrade my eGPU for specific macOS uh, projects like um, Final Cut or I I try to use uh, Unreal RTX here uh, on the macOS because I prefer develop on macOS a uh, just a bit more uh, with some sort of a project. Yeah, so this is a great uh, device, especially if you're gonna use it as a mm, dual dual uh, dual boot dual system machine so i i definitely gonna buy it if i have a chance to test it and see it and maybe i'm upgrade my own device so i hope this video will help you to decide which one you gonna buy which one prefer to you and um yeah and there is few more products which is uh, pretty much the same i'm not even I w I'm not going to talk about them because, um, well, uh, there is, um, well, that is a Surface Go 3, which is still compatible. I, I think it's uh, just a bit different the model on the Surface Go 2, 
which is uh, Mac OS compatible as well. I'm not sure there is some difference in this kind of a thing. Well, uh, yeah, and um, um, there is updated uh, Pro X version, which is still not works on Mac OS, so you don't even need to try it. So this is my thought. Thank you for watching this video. It's quite a short video, maybe a long video for someone. But uh, thank you again. Um, hope you see you on next time i will I, uh, I mean i'm working on video with the new video which is kind of cool i think for some of you who use uh surface devices so stay tuned uh, subscribe to the channel support me because i'm i'm not have any uh, sorts of uh, investment outside and i'm not trying to advertise anything i just my uh, show my thoughts and what and tell you what what i think um, about everything and what i do just mainly on my experiments and ideas and showing you thank you for supporting me bye bye see you on the uh, next video ciao